Hello and welcome to another edition of Highways Presents, where the experts of our industry bring their knowledge to the world. My name is Dominic Brown, I'm the editor of Highways Magazine, and I'm proud to be joined today by ExactTrack, one of the top winter service maintenance companies in the UK. Highways Winter Service is all about making sure that roads are safe in icy and snowy conditions, and a lot of science and technology goes into that. Reacting to the weather in an instant and making sure the exact amount of gritting salt or anti-ice solution goes down in the right place at exactly the right time is no small feat. That's where the experts at Exact Track come in. This company's risen to, risen to the top of this challenging sector, first established by Salt Union and Central Weighing in 2004 to help monitor salt use. The company expanded to provide tracking solutions for all types of municipal vehicles. In 2012, Avery Waytronics, a global leader in industrial weighing equipment, acquired ExactTrack, providing an excellent opportunity for growth. Now it offers real-time, cloud-based, fully integrated driver navigation systems and fully automated salt spreading systems. So they know exactly where the gritting lorries are and they know exactly what they're putting on the road. ExactTrack hardware can be fitted to any municipal vehicle, feeding data from its route navigation and automated spreading solution called NavTrack and its dynamic routing software mapper route. Routing is the routes that the gritters travel on. It has industry partners, partnerships with gr leading gritter suppliers like Econ and Rome Equip, and supplies to end users, including Highways England, local authorities, and term maintenance contractors. I'm joined today by Mark Wilcox, a uh, well-respected, well-known member on the winter service scene, and Telematics Market Manager for the Innovation Division at Avery Waytronics. Mark will talk us through how nothing, not even the British weather, can stop exact track. Hi, Mark. How are you? Yeah, good. Thanks, Dom. Um, thanks very much for allowing me to join Highways Presents um, and discuss innovation and our products that we offer within the winter service sector. Absolutely our pleasure. Mark, so earlier this year, you announced a fantastic upgrade to your gritting route management software. That's the software that uh, designs and programs and maps out exactly where the gritting lorries are going to go. Among other things, it really helps remote working, which I know must have been a massive relief to councils right now. Can you talk about how councils have prepared for the winter at a time of COVID crisis using your software and how it's been received? Remote working comes into its own, although it has its own set of challenges within our authority, especially where vehicles are concerned. Access to vehicles themselves, drivers, and all the associated training that goes together. As a business, we have conducted a host of training sessions over recent weeks with limited groups, obviously, multiple sessions per day with all the appropriate social distancing in place. Despite these challenges, Local authorities still have a responsibility to keep roads free of snow and ice this winter. And we have worked together to ensure drivers are prepared for those cold early morning starts. We launched Mapper Routes back in 2018, which is a web based route creation tool enabling users to have full control of creating and amending their own routes. Prior to Mapper Routes, we had a routing team where we basically digitized. Um, local authorities, term maintenance and Highways England's routes always ended up in a bottleneck because of everybody wanting their routes tomorrow and in preparation for the, uh, the start of the winter season. Since the launch of Mapper Route, we have now 80% of our customers actually using the product itself. The key features, benefits of the system, we can actually increase the route efficiency and management of salt used along the routes. Route statistics can be calculated, providing accurate journey times and distances for both free travel and the salting side of things. Eliminate unnecessary free travel. We have a full audit trail of route amendments. From the system, the routes can be exported for route compliance within our vehicle tracking solution. So as soon as the actual routes have been um, completed, approved they are automatically transferred into our portal for the tracking solution again the routes can be exported for our driver navigation solution to simply allow drivers to concentrate on driving enabling any driver to drive any route once those routes have been signed off the export feature simply emails all of those selected routes to that user's 
email address. They can then download those routes onto a USB stick, and it's just a simply a matter of loading those routes into the vehicle itself into our navigation device. Oh, that's brilliant. So 80% of your clients have already moved on, despite the difficulties that everyone faces this year, um, because this software is making things so much easier. They can design their own gritting routes and they can email them across, um, massively improving um, efficiencies and massively improving their uh, capacity to work remotely. So that's fantastic. Well done, Mark. Mark, can you go into details about the upgrade? I know you've worked with councils and clients to really develop the Mapper Root software, and now you're offering a new licensing model, and the product is more focused on the vehicles, I understand. So those are obviously two big changes. Can you talk us through them? Yeah, sure, Dom. Um, as, as I mentioned, the initial Mapper Root product um, enable routes to be downloaded into the vehicles, into the navigation solution, NavTrack, utilizing a USB stick. From customer feedback, users wanted to download routes directly into vehicles to improve route updates during the season and also covering off for diversions and any road network changes that may occur. With some customers having 40 plus vehicles across six depots, have the potential for large efficiency savings by downloading these routes directly to the vehicles. In some cases, a user may have to travel some 20 minutes between depots just to actually get to uh, access these vehicles. So, you know, efficiency savings are key. Mm. In addition to the feedback um, on the license model itself, most of our users have created all of their primary routes. They then wanted to start uh, creating, you know, the secondary routes, activity routes, snow routes, you know, and some of those specialist routes that may only occur on, on occasions. We therefore changed the route creation license itself to be vehicle based rather than route based, enabling unlimited routes to be downloaded to vehicles. Mapper Route 4G, a cloud-based solution, has been developed over the past six months with a client working group to develop the user interface to ensure it is easy for clients, customers, to actually create and download those routes directly to the vehicles. This has been extremely well received and we are currently conducting field trials with a number of key customers to enable a full rollout this winter. We've also added a host of additional features from the working group feedback. Configurable route stats, so the statistics that we mentioned earlier before were actually calculated on fixed values. We can now actually amend, change the um, speed of free travel. We can change the speed of gritting. So it will actually accommodate all of those types of routes where you're actually traveling along your you know primary roads secondary roads trunk roads and also on the on the motorways with uh, with highways england we've also enhanced our route cards to make them more user friendly with the drivers themselves and we've also um enhanced the way that we actually create the routes themselves and obviously we can monitor whether they're salting or free travel we can now have um, pre-wet and acetates added to those routes. We also have an existing what? customers um, that have expanded the route creation into other activities such as gully cleansing. So the success of what they've done with their gritting routes has now taken them into other aspects within the local authorities day to day business. Wow, so there's a huge list there. So you, you've got unlimited routes now. You can program as many as you want. And you've got more control over, over the monitoring evaluation of everything about the vehicle, speed, spreading, um, you know, the different routes, primary and secondary gritting routes. And it's even being used outside of direct winter service into gully cleaning and on the strategic road network as well. So that's a that's a huge upgrade and, and congratulations. As you said earlier, 80 percent of clients already moved over. So a fantastic achievement. So, Mark, I think you'd probably agree the two core considerations for winter service managers are risk and time. Getting out in the right at the right time 
to tackle risks and eliminate them. So can you talk us through, with your knowledge of the sector, how you've built these core considerations into the development of the new MapRoot software and how the move to vehicle management or focus on vehicle management has helped uh, winter service managers tackle these core elements, risk and time. Thanks, Tom. Yes, I agree with, um, with with that. Vehicle management, along with route adherence, is a key factor for any local authority across its network. Having mapper routes enables continued route efficiencies and salt savings to be realised. Fine tuning of routes by working with experienced drivers to finalise driver instructions, attributes for both free travel and spreading activity, along with width and asymmetry settings. Once changes have been amended in Mapper route, the revised route can simply be downloaded into the vehicle and tested by the driver himself and then signed off by the management team. This then enables any driver to drive any prescribed route with confidence. I'm sure we're all aware that some of the older drivers will just simply follow that route that they've been driving and have known for many, many years. Whereas a new young driver that's new to the industry will just simply follow the actual navigation and the guidance instructions that have been displayed and given to him. Statistical route information uh, calculated against individual routes, enabling route distances to be calculated with overall efficiencies and timings to complete from depot to depot and also when leaving the depot to that final treatment time. Configurable values for free travel and spreading enable that fine tuning against an authority's own winter service plan. Many of the control box these days have one gram increments rather than previously where they used to be um, five or 10 gram increments, making that change from going out on an 18 gram spread instead of 20 or an eight gram spread instead of a 10 gram spread can greatly improve the efficiencies of that route. The amount of salt required to treat um, is then calculated with the ability to actually change that by the spread rate value itself. Once all routes have been formally approved using the Mapper route 4G, enables remote downloads to vehicles to be conducted and saves considerable time, effort and money rather than physically having to vis visit each vehicle. With the administration dashboard, route amendments, vehicle downloads, and a full history across that network of all that audit can be managed. Full risk management can be conducted utilizing remote working, which is recently taken by many existing and new authorities. Another key aspect of winter service would be compliance monitoring. Councils have to comply with the law and they have to be seen to comply with the law. Um, knowing the sector as you do, what approach should managers be taking to this um, core area and uh, how does the risk-based approach that we now take to risk, how does that come into the calculations around monitoring and compliance? With the current climate, many local authorities are continually challenged with the general claim mentality and having the facility to refute claims with supporting evidence is key. Exact track can provide the full telematics provision with live vehicle tracking, recording every change in direction that the vehicle travels along a route, with a full set of gritting attributes to ensure route compliance and the ability to depend, uh, defend any claim that is made. Our particular product um, allows the vehicle to be tracked in a straight line of around 260 meters, but the key aspect is when you actually change in, in direction. So especially when you're coming up to roundabouts or doing U-turns, we will actually provide additional points to be tracked on the map that does actually give that client that ability to refute those claims. One of our key USPs is our data archiving facility where we guarantee to hold vehicle data for 21 years to ensure an authority can defend a case with the support from the exact track support team. Live deviation and exception reporting are generated, enabling the winter resilience team to react as required due to road closures or deviations. We may not be the cheapest solution on the market, 
but you pay for what you get these days. And we pride ourselves with delivering a service that we know the authorities need. We continually develop our solutions with user feedback. And recently, we've made an enhancement to the solution with a feature called Where Is My Gritter? This is a public facing application that can be embedded into an authority's own web portal, enabling the general public to view the routes to be treated across the network and will provide live updates of gritters out treating the network in those harsh winter nights. Okay, so there are a whole range of fantastic innovations there. Uh, final question of the five. Um, let's talk bottom line, Mark. We know councils watch every penny and winter service with software like yours is something we can monitor really precisely. When you launched MapperU, you did it on the back of trials with councils that, that had delivered 27% cost efficiency savings. Um, can you talk us through that? How did you achieve that? It's a fantastic result. And, and what does that mean to councils on the front line? Yeah, thanks, Dom. As we described earlier in the session, um, with optimized routes being created in MapperU, treatment efficiencies can be made, Getting driver involvement is key to refining those uh, results. And we have had a number of authorities that are making those savings of anything between 22 and 27%. That really is key to getting drivers in, involved, you know, utilizing the navigation and fully automated spreading. Um, once that's implemented, it ensures route compliance is, is maintained. The reporting suite enables um, the users, the management team to monitor efficiencies on a per route basis with salt usage by vehicle, by depot, and across the whole network against selected time periods. How often do local authorities have that time to check the amount of salt spread against the same route, whether that was conducted by a different vehicle or simply a different driver? How often do drivers spin off the remaining salt in that last half a mile back to the depot to save spinning salt back into the barn? So a number of key simple efficiencies utilising you know, the efficiency and salt usage reports enable this to be managed. The key driver in these challenging times is having the above in place and the ability for any driver to simply drive any route with confidence. That's fantastic. It's, it's letting the managers get on with their job and it's letting the drivers get on with their job. And you're there behind the scenes doing all of the all of the monitoring. So uh, a brilliant product and a brilliant upgrade um, to sum up then, Mark. Um, perhaps you could tell us about how this product came about, how you came up with the ideas and developed this uh, this new upgrade to Mapperu and, and what it means to you personally. Yes. I've been working in the winter service sector for many years, as you know, uh, Dom, and I have a wealth of experience in delivering integrated telematics and weighing solutions. As a business, through our partner network and key contacts within the industry, we're always looking to improve our solutions to provide those efficiencies and savings to our clients, which is obviously very much needed in these current conditions. Having detailed historical data, having full audit trails to support decision making is key to any data set collected with automated reporting or by exception. The products are actually developed um, for our users, with our users through small working groups, which is really what we've done ever since the actual product was first initially developed. And that's why, you know, we always have the, the compliments from users to say how easy it is to use that user interface, um, the map, the reports, the diary timeline. They're all interlinked so you can move from one aspect to another, you know, in, in two simple clicks to uh, to get those results that you need. So that's brilliant, Mark. Thank you so much for talking us through all of that. And thank you for joining us today on Highways Presents. You've obviously put a lot of care and attention into bringing a huge amount of innovation to this upgrade of the MapperRoot software. You're making life easier and jobs easier of managers back in, in the office and drivers on the front line. You're protecting people during the COVID crisis 
using um, enabling more remote working. And of course, you're delivering those massive 27 percent efficiency savings, which makes so much of a difference to council's budget. So we wish you the best of luck with the project. Thank you uh, with, the, with the product. Um, as we go into the winter, we wish luck to all of the councils out there fighting the snow and ice. Um, for all of our viewers, I hope you've learned something and I hope you've considered ways in which you might be able to develop, to develop your winter service. You can always get in contact with Exact Track. There's an email coming at the end of this video and contact details. They have the uh, website, of course, and um, they have a link to a training video. So if any of you want to get involved, kind of sample a little bit more of the Mapperoot software, you can do so there. If you want to get involved in Highways Presents, please do get in contact with us. This is always going to be the format. We speak to experts and we bring their knowledge to the world in the hope that we can educate people about the highway sector and obviously people within this highway sector. We hope we can make your jobs that little bit easier because you are doing a great job and it's a very necessary one. So to all our highways heroes, thank you very much. To all of our viewers, thank you for joining us. Safe travels. And remember, wrap up warm. Winter is coming.